My name is Eric, or, well, that was my human name. My days are long and boring. There's not much you can do when you're a zombie except eat people, but I try and stick to raw meat. The theory that zombies eat brains is so stereotypical. I sometimes try and do things I used to do before I got turned into a zombie, like play video games or watch TV, but everything is difficult. When the apocalypse hit, and when I turned into a zombie, my mom left and gathered all of her things to get out as quickly as possible. There was nothing much she could do for me. I'm an only child and it's hard for me to learn how to survive on my own, and being undead does not help. At all. Sometimes scavengers come here to look for food and shelter, but as soon as they see me, they run. Come on, we have to move quickly. I think I saw some zombies heading this way. Yeah, let's look through the cabinets to see if we can find any cans of food that we can take. I think I found some. That's Rick. He's my friend. Well, not much of a friend. I, I kind of hate him. Uh, Rick is always talking shit. One minute, him and Mary, his girlfriend, are talking, and the next day they're fighting. He really needs to get his crap together. It's not like this is the end of the world. That already happened. Sometimes animals just look so tempting to eat, but I try not to. Again. We need to search the nearby neighborhood. We need to look for any signs of refugees or supplies that we can take with us. I know there have been scavengers going through that area recently. Gotcha. Ah, 
I felt something bite me. Normally feelings are a bit numb for me since I'm dead, but I actually felt something. I decided it would be best to head back home. I didn't want them to take all of my stuff with them. Who's there? Hey, I think I heard something. Who are you? I'm Eric. I live here. And I used to be a zombie, I swear. And now I'm not. I actually slept, too. I don't understand. Are you sure you're okay, kid? Yes, I'm being serious. Okay, I'll try and believe you. Did you do anything out of the ordinary, or did anything happen that might have caused this? Well, I did get bitten by a spider. This just in. Breaking news. The cure for the disease has been found by a zombie. Yes, that's right, a zombie found the cure. It turns out that the cure for the disease is in the venom of a spider. Shots have been dispersed and the disease count is already down. The lockdown and the evacuations are over. It is now safe to come outside. Hello? Eric? Hi, it's mom. Mom? What happened? Where are you? We evacuated like everyone else. We're just so happy that you're okay. There was nothing much we could do, hun. We're so grateful to have you back, and this is finally over. Me too, Mom. Oh my god, Nick. <laughs> I said no silly face. Uh, we have to move quickly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's look through the cabinets to see what I've messed up. <laughs> oh my god. Yes. Was that good? Refugees or any supplies that we can take with us. <laughs> Eric, what? I just want your heart, yeah. I don't want your heart, I just want your heart, yeah. Oh, if I were a zombie, I'd never eat your brain. I just want your heart, yeah. I don't want your heart, I just want your heart, cause I want you. You'd be hiding in a second floor apartment, knocking all the stairs down to save your life. From the undead Double barrel shotgun Taking out the slow ones Then you'd see the passion burning in my eyes